Morning Saga, I'm Nathan Miller, and today is Friday, April 17th, 2020. Welcome to SNN Quarantine Edition. As you know, the district has made the decision to continue online education for the rest of the 2019-2020 school year due to the coronavirus outbreak. With that being said, SNN will continue uploading videos every Friday to the SNN YouTube page. Congratulations to Mr. Klipfeld as he has been voted Saugus High School's Teacher of the Year. Thank you, Mr. Klipfeld, for all of your hard work and dedication to the students at Saugus High School. COVID-19 may be forcing us to stay at home, but that should not be an excuse for us to be laying in bed all day on our phones. Instead, we can be doing at-home workouts. Here's Parker Long with more. Good morning, Saugus. I'm Parker Long, reporting from home for SNN. Let's be honest, this all sucks. Social distancing, shelter-in-place orders, and home quarantines are all reasonable sacrifices in the face of this frightening new reality. But because we've got nothing but time on our hands and sanitizer, what better opportunity to focus on your fitness? This sudden change has brought about a dramatic transformation in our lives, which makes it difficult to get into routine. But right now, more than ever, exercising regularly in order to boost your immunity is extremely essential. It helps one to stay fit, both mentally and physically. Here's a few quick and simple workouts to try when you've got nothing better to do. Starting off with legs and glutes, squats are a great way to keep in shape. They can be done in many different ways depending on what you want to accomplish. Remember to keep your knees behind your toes to fully work all muscles. Some more workouts you can do at home are sit-ups slash crunches. These are great for strengthening up your core and can be done reasonably quickly. Another ab workout to try are flutter kicks. These burn a bit and are a little bit more challenging, but show great results if you're looking for some ab strength this quarantine. If you want to get your cardio without going for a run, jumping jacks and jump rope work well. A final reminder, if you want to work on a specific area to tone up, like abs, legs, or arms, YouTube has thousands of quarantine workouts to try, as well as ideas for eating healthy and some other activities to cure quarantine boredom. This has been Parker Long reporting for SNN. Thanks, Parker. I'll be sure to try some of those out. Online classrooms are the way that we're receiving all of our education right now. So if anyone is still in need of a Chromebook, contact Ms. Peterson Henry at the email listed below. Although we may not be at school, our staff has put together a virtual serenity space for our students. Some of the activities include an online support group meeting Wednesdays from 2 p.m. to 3 p.m. online for any student feeling uneasy or experiencing anxiety. To sign up, email Ms. Peterson Henry or Ms. Roundsville at the emails listed below. There will also be a group coloring hour on Fridays from 12 p.m. to 1 p.m. for some relaxation time. Email Ms. Mamiyaki in at the email listed below to sign up. That's all for me. Now let's go to Owen Derry with the second half of this week's announcements. Good morning, Saugus. I'm Owen Derry, and I'll be your anchor for the second half of this show. Anyone who's in need of a work permit will need to contact the district office. No work permits are being issued on campus during this time. Blank work permits can be accessed on the Heart District website and taken to the district office once signed by a parent and employer. All the current students who still need to sign up for the next Career Pathway class and their sequence can email Ms. Dahlquist in the email listed below. Quarantine may not be very exciting for us, but before dwelling on all the negative, let's take a look at some of the brighter side with Marie Marcos. Good morning, Saugus. I'm Marie Marcos, reporting for SNN. As some of you may be dreading following this stay-at-home order to stop the spread of the coronavirus, believe it or not, there are actually a lot of benefits to it. Let's take a look at some. From Asia to Europe, countries have seen the destruction of natural beauty spots, aka tourist attractions, due to huge increases in mass tourism and the thoughtless construction of support facilities. With sweeping travel restrictions, there will be time for the regeneration of these beautiful places. First of all, we have already seen a sharp drop in air pollution due to factory closures in China and around the world, decreased coal burning, and the collapse of air travel, the virus may just be benefiting our climate. Even though the makers of toilet paper, hand sanitizers, face masks, and rubber gloves are obviously rising high in the market, other companies like Zoom are taking a big hit as well. TV streaming services like Netflix and Disney Plus are also gaining more subscriptions as people try to stay away from being bored at home. And there are more personal reasons, like maybe finally having the time to work out and achieve your physical goals. Or maybe it's learning something new, like how to cook or a new dance on TikTok. Maybe you're finally being productive when it comes to doing chores or schoolwork. 
Although there are many things that have become more difficult, like shopping and seeing the people you love, there are many upsides to our situation, and everyone is trying their best to get through this. At Mountain View Elementary School, the teachers put their own parade around the neighborhood to cheer up their students. It's great to see our community is staying connected and is coming together. This has been Marie Marcos, reporting for SNN. Thanks, Marie. Those are definitely some positive reasons to be happy. Speaking of happy things, we are excited to announce a new addition to the Saugus family. Congratulations, Ms. Feldman, on your beautiful baby daughter, Amelia Feldman. If you find yourself feeling anxious throughout these days, and if you need someone to talk to, perhaps call the Disaster Distress Hotline. It is a national hotline dedicated to providing immediate crisis counseling for people who are experiencing emotional distress related to any natural or human-caused disaster. Call the number listed below or text T-A-L-K-W-I-T-H-U-S to 66746. That's all for this week's show. I'm Owen Derry. Make sure to keep washing your hands and staying safe. Have a great day and a great week. Do not forget to keep social distancing, although it may be difficult. We will see you next Friday. We leave you with a message from some of our teachers and staff. Hello, Centurions. I want to give you some quick information regarding some important topics. First, next week, we are starting our virtual wellness center, our serenity space online. So if you need a place to go and connect with somebody, that's a great place to do it. Also this week, I met with some senior representatives. Um, a few of those senior representatives then met with district leadership and representatives from other high schools to discuss graduation. During those meetings, we discussed both virtual graduation and in-person graduation. Right now, I'm in the process of planning for both. Obviously, our preference, including mine, is an in-person graduation. For that to happen, the how, when, and where will depend largely on what the Department of Health allows us to do. With that said, in planning for graduation, in the email I sent your parents, there are some attachments if you are interested in trying out to be a senior speaker at graduation or a senior vocalist at graduation. Please look for that attachment. I hope you guys are doing well. I miss you a ton. Please keep up with your classes. And as always, please know that we love you. Take care. Okay, just like I said, I'm gonna show you really quickly how I'm using the planner. Um, I'm gonna show you last week first. Uh, what I did last week was I started on Monday. On Monday, I wrote down, um, actually, I think I did it on Sunday night. Um, everything that I needed to have ready for Monday, um, crossed it off as I went. Even if I had already done it when I filled out the planner, I still wrote it down um, just to remind myself that I had already completed that. And then I planned Monday morning, I planned everything out for the rest of the week. Um, I like to keep things color coded. So everything that I needed to do for my class in period three was written in red. And then stuff I was going to do outside of that, like on, um, not stuff that I had to have ready for class, but stuff that I needed to get done for school on those off days, I wrote down in another color. Um, I did the same thing with honors. I wrote down all of the things. And then um, the green is all of the stuff that I'm doing on a day where we don't have scheduled class time. Um, at the end of the week, anything that I didn't finish, I made a note to myself like, this is what I got done or this is, you know, what I still need to do. Um, and I tried to be as specific as I could at that time. Okay. Um, and then notice I crossed off everything as I went. Um, I highly recommend that you do that. Um, the reason is because it sort of gives you this sense of accomplishment. Um, it takes a little bit of the stress away. You'll feel a little relieved knowing like, okay, I did this, this, and this, when you know you still have, you know, five other things you have to do. Um, this next week, the, on the only thing that was an issue here was I didn't plan any time up here for my other job at school. Um, I have two other jobs and I didn't allow any time for that. Um, so I think that's part of the reason like what I was trying to do in here was a little too ambitious and I ended up not completing everything I wanted to get done. Um, so I'll show you what I did for this next week. Um, it's a little bit different. I actually made a list of all the things I have to do for work that are not um, part of my um, classes. And then um, I, I put on everything that I have to do for Monday and then everything that I have to do for Wednesday um, with some notes, knowing that it might change. And then of course I am checking it off as I go. 
truthfully, it doesn't matter what approach you take. The most important thing is that you know on these days, I am completing these assignments. Um, and if you struggle with time management during the day, then within this, write down like, okay, from, you know, nine to 10, I'm going to work on my English and try to get, you know, this one thing done or whatever it may be. Um, do schedule in breaks for yourself. Um, not like, okay, 20 minutes, you know, in between things, but that doesn't mean you spend 20 minutes and you're going to start a movie because then you won't finish uh, your work, you'll end up watching the movie or 20 minutes playing this video game when you get to this one level and you're like, oh, I have to keep going. Or you start looking at social media, but then you get sucked in. So try to keep it, you know, give yourself a 15, 20 minute break, get a snack, talk to a family member, lay on your couch and do nothing for a few minutes. Um, just give yourself a little bit of a mental break and plan those into your day also. Um, and then you can check things off as you go. So it doesn't really matter um, which approach you take as long as you choose um, an approach that works for you and that you can stick to. Okay, good luck. Hello, Centurion students. This is Mr. R, your school social worker, and I'm joined here with... Lisa, the intern from the Serenity Space. So we guys, we just wanted to remind you that we're still here to support you. Although we're not on campus and we're not in the wellness center or the serenity space, we wanted you to know that we are here to support you. We have set up some times uh, to make available to you where you can fill out a contact form and you can schedule some time with us. Lisa, you wanna share the times that you're available? I'll be available on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays between nine and three for students. And I'll be available Tuesdays and Thursdays between nine and three. I'm also starting a student support group that will meet weekly on Wednesdays from 2 p.m. to 3 p.m. And I'll be having a coloring group on Fridays from 12 p.m. to 1 p.m. So guys, if you need any level of support, if you just need, just need to vent, we need to just talk about what's been going on with you, uh, reach out to us, schedule a time with us, and we'll, we'll love to hear from you. We'd love to support you. Just remember guys, we're here to help. So you don't have to be in this alone. Thank you and stay safe, Sagas. Bye.